If you want to get better at doing something, there is no secret, there is no shortcut. You just have to do it more. No matter how long you are doing it, you have to practice to get better. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get. Sounds quite simple, but most people are failing on this simple part. They just give up too easy and stop doing whatever they are doing. So if you want to get better at FPV, you just have to do it more. And the simulator is the second best approach. So you are still hooked to FPV and now you are ready for your first flight. Let's do it together in this video. Today we are gonna fly in the simulator for the first time. I will guide you through the tutorial and also explain you how to fly FPV drones. So stay tuned, have fun and enjoy the video and I hope you learn something. This is the second video of the video series Get Into FPV. If you haven't watched the first episode, it is linked somewhere on the top. And in the first episode, I guided you through the first decisions you have to make as a new FPV pilot. What kind of radio are you using and what kind of simulator are you using? And requirement for this video today for the second episode is that you have a radio bounded to your computer, you have your simulator and your radio is already calibrated in the simulator. If this is all set, let's directly dive into it. Let's fly the drone. Let's start directly on the computer and launch the simulator. I will use the drone racing simulator. It's a special one because it has an intensive beginner tutorial which is quite nice to show you the controls of the drone, which stick inputs are needed and uh, yeah, it just helps you to, to see more what is really important when flying. And basically at the beginning it's really important to just focus on the basics. That's what we will do in the tutorial. So we launch the drone racing league simulator. All simulators are available on Steam except Velocity Drone. So basically if you got Steam, you can play most of them. And here we are in the menu. At the beginning, I can imagine it does look a bit overwhelming when looking at this menu. Um, where do you want to go? But basically, let's go quickly through it. Fly. This is what all the simulators have in common as well. You can start your solo races, your multiplayer races against pilots all over the world. You can modify your drone, you can participate in tournaments, this is really good, especially on this simulator. Um, you can train all the tutorials, you will see later. And we got the trials. Trials are also a really interesting thing. This is where you can win a wildcard. A wildcard to be a pilot at the drone racing league events. There's also a whole racing series going around it and the winner of the tryout competition gets some kind of a wildcard. Track editor, also really important and uh, all the simulators have some kind of track editor available. Uh, so you can just build whatever you want to fly, whatever you can emerge in, you can build here. But let's start with train. If I click on train, I can choose onboarding or missions. We go to onboarding. The first thing you're going to learn today is the flight mode. There are three different flight modes available on the simulator. So you have the beginner mode, which means the drone is always trying to auto level back to the middle position. As long as you're not giving too much input, it's always trying to go back. And also there's an angle limiter on, so you cannot move the copter more than certain degrees to the roll, to the pitch. And um, altitude hold is also on, so basically <laughs> the drone is, uh, if you're not giving enough, enough throttle, it's always self-leveling in the same altitude. The second one, intermediate mode, stability is off. So basically it will stay in this position as long as you're not bringing it back to the middle position. Altitude hold is off and angle limiter is on. So your angle is limited, but you can move it in all directions and it will not stop you. The third one is the pro mode. This is called acro and this is the fully manual mode. You have full control and the flight controller is not reacting and not pushing your drone into any direction. So, we start with a beginner mode. Learn to fly, mode one, sounds great. Learn to fly, here we are. And we start. So, you will see what the stick input means. Yeah? So I start with the left stick up and down. This is the throttle. I move it up. And you see I'm lifting. Okay, control elevation go up to 32 meters. Okay, let's play a little bit. Okay. Yes, 
that sounds good. So this is full throttle and it's climbing and climbing. This copter is really slow and in reality you would be already at <laughs> on the clouds. Pop that balloon. So second stick we are learning. That's pitch, the right stick, up and down. So we push it and the nose goes down and we make a forward movement. We bring the stick back and the nose goes up and we move backwards. And you see how the angle limiter kicks? Without angle limiter I would just rotate all the time. I just use pitch now and I fly against the balloon. Okay, look around. Now we're using your left stick, left and right. Okay, I was too late. Now, to the left and to the right. I mainly keep the position. I just look in a different position. Now I want to move forward, so I just use pitch again. Oh, I'm going down, but it's intended. Move forward and get closer to the flag. Yes. Now we are using roll. Right stick, right and left. This means we are rolling around. And this is really one of the most important inputs. But you see how it works? So these are our four stick inputs we can give. And basically, oh, <laughs> I just crashed, okay. I lost some altitude because now I'm in fully mode. You see, I got throttle, up, down, and I need to go forward. So basically now I need to combine everything, left and right stick. Okay, I try to keep and hold the altitude and pitch forward against the balloon. Yes. Okay, the next one is a bit higher. Uh, there it is. Gain some altitude. Pitch forward. And yes. Okay, now a little bit higher and pitch. Go down a bit. Yes. Okay. This is quite easy because it's fixed on the on the line. It can't go left and right. Okay. I go in the middle lane of the bridge and only my right stick. Okay, only pitching. Quite easy. And a little bit, ah, oh, you see, now I can move it. I can go left, right. Just like I can do with pitch here. Yeah? This is only what I'm doing now with my right stick. I go to the right, go backwards, to the left, forward. It all works seamlessly. I just try the next one. I can even go into the corner. Yes. And doing this tutorial is really a game changer. Because at the beginning, if you have full aqua mode, it's so hard to keep control to, to even hover. It's kind of insane. So we're gonna build this up. Okay, all the balloons are done. And now we need to go through the diamond gate. Okay, we gain some altitude with more throttle. Now I just need to use throttle and pitch. Yes. I just learned the basics. I have switched to Uncrashed to show you now the second part of the video where we're gonna fly and see what is really important and how you're gonna improve your skills as a freestyle pilot, as a racer, whatever. First of all, it's all about getting the basics. So Uncrashed, Meadow and uh, Free Flight. Let's take this map. It's a 5-inch drone. And Basically, it looks the same, but the first thing we need to do is to check our camera tilt. Arrow key up and down, 18, 19, 20. Let's start with 15%, really low, because the higher the camera angle is, the more your drone is tilted, more pitched forward, and you will have more ground speed just because of that. It helps you while racing, freestyle, whatever, but we start slow and we just want to learn how to control the drone. The first goal is always to 
of course to start, but also to just hover. Being able to hold the drone on a certain position in a certain area. Yeah? Let's say we want to take this yard here. This from the house of the right to the right to the houses to the left. Let's see, we want to control our drone that it stays in there, in this area. So we lift the throttle. And yes, so basically what I'm doing right now is only throttle. And you see, I'm going back a little bit. Now I just, oh, now I just pitch forward and I can steer against it. Okay, it goes back. Now I pitch forward again. And this is how I move. I just wanna keep in this area on this street Yes, this is what you have to practice. Just staying on a certain area. So let's stay, we want to stay here, facing towards the wind turbine. Practice this. This is the most important thing. And basically, you are a good pilot if you can maneuver your drone wherever you want your drone to be. Our goal is that the drone is always going into this direction, to this spot where we want our drone to be. We always want to have and want to be in control. This is the most important thing. And once we are under control and the drone is never going in the direction we don't want the drone to go, then we are a good pilot, right? Then we can start flying real drones. But this is what we have to practice first in the simulator. That we are not having some kind of flybacks and ah, oh, how do I get there? It's really about building up muscle memory, getting all the movement into your blood. You see, this is me. Amazing. All the movements need to go directly into your brain. And once it is in there, in your muscle memory, in your brain, however you want to call it, then it's just not thinking about steering the drone. It's just feeling it. And you will see what you have to do to move your drone and bring your drone to the position you just want the drone to be. Yeah, we're gonna go around here, power loop it. Oh. <laughs> Second step, what we do now, since now we can hover the drone, we can kind of control the drone. The drone is where we need it to be and where we want it to be. And this can take a couple of hours actually. Try this, it's really important. This will be the base for the upcoming levels, for the upcoming challenges you will have. And the second part we are going to learn is really to fly the drone where we ever want to go. The drone should just follow our brain, our eyes. And this is really important. Let's follow the street here. Let's see how we can do it. It's just now, now we need to do real turns. We do your roll, a little bit of throttle control and pitch. Going around the corner actually requires all four stick inputs. You need roll, your pitch, and you need to throttle up. Yeah. What is this for a building? Really nice. Oh, crash. Looks so much nicer. Okay. But we wanted to follow the street. Oh, now we got a sharp turn here. And step number three. This involves racing. And yes, everybody should race, at least in a simulator. Because while racing, you really learn to follow the track and the drone needs to go where you want it to go. And there is no other option. You need to go through this gate. You can't, like in freestyle, you always can escape. Like if something went wrong and you overshoot something, you just made a new trick out of it. That's quite easy. But during racing, you have to go through this gate in this house, what we see now. And that's also really good practice for, for becoming a better pilot. Just do races in the simulator. Okay. And also, altitude control. Here, I cannot exceed, I cannot go above three meters. I need to go in there. And if my flying just looks like, like this, on this height, here it's really hard to estimate how high you really are. And altitude control and throttle control, what is in the first step, is really important. Yeah? We need to hold the altitude and we need to be able to go low and high. Okay, here it's just straight. First time flying this track. Yes. We're just 
Oh, kind of tricky. That's rough. Push. Our goal is clear. We just want to get this thing flying. And imagine your first flight with a real drone. What would make this flight successful? It is successful if you do not crash. How, how proud you can be after your first flight of not crashing. So basically, this is what we're always aiming for. In the simulator, it's totally fine to crash. But in real life, it's a different story. So basically, we should try to remember sometimes to the mindset of not crashing or how important it is to not crash, even in the simulator. That's how you also can bring the mindset to real life. But for now, you have to crash as often as possible in the simulator. This is, this is where you learn and the most important thing is enjoy it. Enjoy learning FPV. Enjoy being part of this community. Enjoy learning new things. Enjoy being proud of yourself. That's really the most important thing. Enjoying what you're doing. And it is just a hobby, right? It is just something we do in our free time. And the most important thing is really enjoying it. We don't want to make it too competitive because at the end of the day, we all just want to have fun. And the FPV community is really warm-hearted and it welcomes everyone who would love to get those things in the air. And yeah, that's it with the video. I hope you did like it. If you got any more ideas, I'm really proud of this community, the viewers of my last video. There were so many comments on my last video about throttle control. And also, I learned a lot of stuff in the comments. So basically, I'm really proud of that. Um, if you got any suggestions, if you got any improvement ideas or what should be in the next episode of Get Into FPV. What do you want to learn? Tell me in the comments. And yeah, I guess I see you in my next one. Bye.